Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my London living room. Yes, I am back to London. I came back from Greece just a few days ago and January reality hit me hard. <laughs> I'm kidding. I am not. Anyway, so it has been absolutely lovely so far and I realized how much I miss the city and my rhythms here but the only tiny little request that I have is that we get a little bit more sun and although yeah I realize this is not going to happen anytime soon so I thought that I should bring the sun to me instead of wait oop rude instead of waiting the sun to appear today we are going to try the three different faces of Chianti Classico this beautiful region in Italy, the heartland of Chianti based in Tuscany, a region which is the heartland of Chianti based in Tuscany, one of the most beautiful, picturesque, absolutely magical places in the world. And there are three faces of Chianti Classico. First of all, we have the Chianti Classico Anatta, which stands on the bottom of our pyramid. And then we have the Chianti Classico Reserva, and then we have the Chianti Classico Gran Selezione, so great selection. Chianti Classico in the first place though, 80% of the grapes need to be Santiovese and the rest 20% can be either indigenous grape varieties from the region or either international varieties like Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Hello again, what I meant to say yesterday and I clearly forgot to add is that Sangiovese is a very classic grape, not a grape of our times. It doesn't appreciate hastiness and speed. It ripens really slowly and it's harvested late. It takes this lovely sweet time to make sure it accumulates all these beautiful juicy rich aromas. It loves the sun, don't we all? And uh, it thrives on altitude. Before we start with the tasting of these beautiful, gorgeous, winter warmer wines, a little fun fact about their symbol of Chianti Classico, which is the black rooster. And this is the legendary symbol, the Gallo Nero, the black rooster of Chianti Classico. The legend has it that in the 13th century, Florence and Siena were in a big dispute about their territories over Chianti. So they decided to end that dispute once and for all with a horse race. They said that a knight would leave from Florence and another one from Siena at the crack of dawn when the rooster would sink and where the two knights would meet, these would be the final borders for each city respectively. What the Florentines did was that they, first of all, decided on a black rooster and then they kept him in a box for a few days with no food. Understandably, the poor soul, when the day came and he, they allowed him to leave the box, he sank much earlier than dawn. The Florentine knight only met the, the one from leaving Siena, just 20 kilometers off uh, the walls of Siena. But all this talk about wine has got me really thirsty, so let's start trying the wines. As we said at the beginning, the first wine that we're going to try is the Fonterutelli Chianti Classico 2013. Uh, and this spends just 12 months in French oak barrels. Look at this color. It's so beautifully and vibrant ruby. Just really lively, red and black fruit, mainly black plums, really juicy black cherries, a little bit of um, the vibrance of a red currant. And the wine is just beautifully polished and generous and silky in a very elegant way. Hints of cardamom and a little bit of black pepper, a hint of chocolate just jumping out of the glass. This is definitely a really beautiful, very elegant, very modern expression of Chianti, very fruit forward. I really love it. I find this to be such an easy drinking wine with pure elegance. Let us give it a try. Mm. Yes. Now, this is why Chianti Classico is for lovers because it's so sensual, so seductive, 
my mouth is watering from this beautiful fresh acidity my palate is just so satisfied with the richness of the different flavors on the mouth the freshness of the fruit is equally rewarding as the nose and i find that the silky texture this very elegant way that the tannins just coat your tongue is absolutely amazing elegant fresh modern crunchy i love it the next one we're going to try again from castello di fonterutoli uh, is the serlapo riserva take a look Again, a little fun fact, Sir Lapo, an ancestor of the Matei family, was actually the godfather of Chianti because he was the first one to ever use the word Chianti to define wine coming from that region on an official document. Part of it you can find over here on the label. A piece of history really captured in uh, this wine label. I am absolutely in love with this wine. It needs to age for 24 months including three months in the bottle before getting released in the market. And here we expect a little bit more richness, a little bit more complexity because of the additional time that he has spent in the barrel. Oh, that, that is absolutely sensational. Black plums, black cherries, a little bit of black currant, but mainly we've got this beautiful like forest aromas Imagine just taking a walk in an autumn uh, afternoon in a beautiful forest and you've got the smell of uh, the leaves on the floor, the autumnal breeze in the air, a little bit of licorice, a hint of chocolate, but uh, not too much, just to make everything really powerful and really generous. I really like Sangiovese's power and elegance. I think that these are the two words that really describe the grape. Okay, let's give it a try. And oh dear. So here we have a little bit more uh, of a vanilla, toasty, spicy note. We've got cardamom and clove. Just a tiny hint of smoke in the end some savory notes, a little bit of mushroom, uh, making the wine even more serious. You have this very distinctive freshness and energy coming from the fruit, but uh, the barrel aging has made the wine a little bit more sophisticated, a bit rounder, uh, with a, a really, really satisfying mouthfeel. I think I'm in love. And the last wine we're going to try for tonight is the Chianti Classico Gran Selezione, again from Castello di Fontortelli. So Gran Selezione is a new category of Chianti Classico introduced in 2014 and the wine needs to be made from grapes only grown at uh, the producer's estate. It needs to age for 30 months. This is the result of over 40 years of research and analysis by the Mazzei family who own Castello di Fonterutoli and it's a wine that's made out of their best parcels uh, and is a result of 120 different vinifications. It is made by 36 different clones of Sangiovese 18 of them are unique to Castello di Fonterutoli. So the complexity and richness of this wine is really out of this world but let's give it a try. Whew. Okay, Gran Selezione, absolutely sensational. Next level seduction. Uh, the first thing that comes through the nose, I find it's this rich, concentrated black fruit, but really ripe, really juicy, uh, black cherries and black plum, a little bit of black currant, a little bit of juicy blueberry coming through as well, very interesting. And the spiciness and the toastiness of the good, uh, these lovely warm uh, winter spices really make the wine much richer and much more uh, food friendly. The savory character is really appetizing. Here we have a little bit of an umami flavor coming through, a little bit of soy sauce and uh, this wonderful leather, tobacco uh, notes just jumping out of the glass making it absolutely amazing hints of dried rose petals make it very romantic i really love it 
the glossiness on the palette is absolutely stunning. I think glossy is the best way to describe it because it really just glides in a very elegant, powerful, dynamic uh, way on your tongue and the tan is just really beautifully uh, coat your mouth. Not in a drying way at all, the tannins are really ripe and soft. It's amazing! <laughs> and now, what would you have these wines with? Because we have to remember, not only do we need to drink responsibly, but wine is primarily made to be accompanied with food. The Classico can be paired beautifully with such a delicious selection of foods, like a pepperoni pizza, <laughs> just a plain pasta with wonderfully handmade tomato sauce, a little bit of garlic and maybe just a touch of uh, basil on the top. <music> what else? Oh yes, if you have friends or family over and you want to treat them to a nice charcuterie and cheese uh, platter, then a Chianti Classico will be your absolutely best friend. For Reserva and Gran Selezione, I would be very tempted to try with a spiced stew, red meats, uh, sausages, pasta with a meat sauce like a ragu or a bolognese, that would be absolutely amazing. And then definitely the Gran Selezione with a truffle dish. If you already love and drink Chianti Classico, please do let me know in the comment section below what your favorite producer is. And if you've never tried the wines yet, please do give them a try and I would love to know what you think. I am certain that if you appreciate elegance and purity of fruit, silky tannins, refreshing mouthfeel, filled with juicy red and black fruit aromas, you will love Chianti Classico. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you very soon. Bye! So I just popped into M&S and I found this very traditional old-school Chianti bottle. I'm sure you've seen them before. You know where? At Lady and the Trump. On the mouth, the, fr the freshness. On the mouth, the French... I'm in love. I'm in love.